Hello there everyone, how are you? And uh, today I am just going to share with you a, a gift I've made for Hazel, who is Hazel Macca on YouTube. Hazel doesn't actually do videos, but she is a very well-known lady, a uh, very kind-hearted lady, and it's her birthday this month. In fact, it's her birthday on Friday. And I actually didn't think I was going to be on time, but I managed to to finish something. And because I live so, you know, not far away from Hazel, I can send this overnight express, and it will um, it will make it by her birthday. So yay! <laughs> um, this is a, a birthday. I don't know if it's a challenge, but a birthday treat for Hazel. Uh, Ruth, uh, Ruth Burr and Sonia Steptoe put together a little challenge type thing for Hazel's special birthday this year. She's turning 60, uh, quite the milestone, and um, they have just asked people to make her something special and send it along, and, but only to show what you're making. So anything else you send along, uh, we're not to show and um, we're to make a card as well but not show the card so I have made a little journal for Hazel now it could be a notebook or a journal um, I've made this out of a packaging of um, Ziploc bags you know the little sandwich bags that you can get I've made this out of that and I've also used this beautiful uh, printable um, collection from um, Tsunami Rose and I will put on screen what the collection is called I'm just okay Charming Fragments it is called um, by Tsunami Rose and I absolutely love the paper line. It's it's just a hodgepodge of vintage ephemera and things like that. But how beautiful are the colours in this paper line? So I've covered my box with um, some of the papers out of the collection. And then I've mod podged just the cover just to add a bit of strength. I've put some lace down the spine just to cover up um, the, the threads of the binding. I've got some seam binding just to keep it closed and that's just wrapped around a couple of times like so. I have this gorgeous green pom-pom going down the side there. I think it's adorable and I wanted to use it somewhere but not inside because I wanted to keep it nice and flat so that it could be um, the pages could be written on. I've put a pocket on the front of the cover and tried to keep it as flat as I'm sorry I've got a very bad toothache and I yeah um I've tried to keep it as flat as I could but that should not just that little bit of beading shouldn't be a problem with writing because the cover's quite thick and I've just popped a tag in that front cover as well um I have some blue trim some lovely like little bobble trim and some flat back pearls down the front there. I've gone all around the edge in some washi tape just to finish those edges off and I'm really hoping it um, it stays on there nicely and if Hazel ever sees this video and it, if it does start to come up just put a bit of glue over it or something to hold it down but hopefully it won't that won't happen. Okay, so there we go. That's the inside of the little journal. And I just, it's very kind of eclectic, I think you could say. Um, I've used all the covers of the booklets inside are from the paper line. This, uh, this striped one was from my own paper stash and I thought it went quite well. And so is this particular floral design here as well. I've used washi tape and some fabric pieces and lace. Um, just a tag on the front. There's nothing on it yet but I'll be writing on that um, tomorrow before it goes in the post. I have lace to help straight strengthen the spine on the inside 
as well and I will just you'll see that there's bits of lace but I'll just do a quick flip through because um, it, it kind of hurts to talk too much so um, I'm not really sure about this page I just tried um, putting some glue down putting a napkin on top and then ripping it off and having it stick where where the glue was and my daughter likes it but I'm still sort of borderline but it's there and it was something I tried all the papers have been sprayed with Lindy spray and I've drizzled coffee um, some you know black cold coffee over it and put the cup on various pages so that's how I've colored the pages and they're actually secondhand books from the thrift shop or op shop so I will just turn through they're just some leftover hearts from Valentine's that I actually cut out upside down so they're on there anyway and some lace in the spine that was an old music paper from the thrift store and it did already have some writing on it so I just left it there there's some stitching down in places to hold things and that's that's an uh, it's really lovely it is a little bit scratched but I kind of think well I, I really like it so I've used it anyway um, it's just a really nice cute little image and then just a pocket in the center of that and I did the same with the doilies and I've used some um, what are they project life card type things and just inked around some of the edges there um, just to be used it's mainly just like a notebook or journal just to write in and there's six signatures in this book but I, I actually I didn't use one because it just I couldn't fit it in so <laughs> I'll find some other purpose for that and I've used different colors of the Lindy's and just sort of dropped a couple of drops here and there and I really like the effect it's given and I hope Hazel liked it like said it, it's something a little bit more colorful um, than than I normally do um, but I'm quite sure Hazel loves colour. That's some beautiful tatting on that one. And it's just a flip out. And it's nice and smooth, so it is, you know, you can write on it. Maybe she could use it for her, um, she enters a lot of challenges and things like that, so maybe she could use it for to keep track of her, um, her, the things, her challenges and things like that. I'm hoping she finds a use for it. Something a little bit different that, you know, it's not too lacy, which is what I normally um, end up doing for her. And some vintage or antique laces down the side. Just a little envelope. Some, they're not inked up, they're just things she can use um, in various projects herself if she likes. I love the colours of this collection, it's just beautiful. I may just make myself one as well. There's some stickers in here that I got from Zephy some time ago as well and they just work really lovely with the colours in this book. And some washi. It's just a glycine bag. Oh, I must. I have to put something in there. That's just a glycine bag that you can put something in, and then I've taped this side, and there's some little bits and pieces in there as well. So hopefully, I'm not 
too late to join the challenge but you know if if I am that's fine I I would have sent her something anyway so you know it's it's not a big deal just a paper clip with a bit of lace on it and envelope that comes out um, full of bits little heart there's six signatures in here and I made I made seven but you know there's only like um, let me see one oh that's just it was an index card um, and I, I used part of it for something else and that was just left so I've popped that in there I thought that fit in there quite nicely uh, I was counting in approximately one two three four so eight pages in each signature and that's just a couple that was part of the collection that's really cute and then that's just a, a piece of card that I've made into a, just a little jotting tag or something like that and this little pocket was part of the collection also and this I think this is the first book I've made uh, that's you know purposely for making a journal um, and it was good and I didn't use I didn't use all of the downloads either that I got but I you know they're always there and I can use them for other things gorgeous piece of lace in the in the in the middle there and almost done it's kind of a little bit grungy but it you know I wanted something a bit different for her and I haven't done like a, a, a journal thing like this for a while and just some there's some more printouts from the collection and I've just sort of you know scuffed up the back a little bit there as well and just some more of that little pompily type of trim down the back and that's the I've kind of curved that if you can say like that I've curved that and that's a little bit there so it kind of goes like that when it's closed but um that's that's my gift for Hazel for her birthday and I hope she likes it and that will like I said be going off by overnight express tomorrow <laughs> and it should get there on Thursday so thank you for joining me today everybody take care bye